Yo, we're back with turning non-human characters into humans. If you have any suggestions for characters to do in the future, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I usually take all the suggestions that are in the comments, put them on a list, and then I just check them off individually. Um, sometimes if they're like characters from the same show, I'll group them all into one video. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you can uh, suggest your character suggestions. Anyway, we are doing gumball characters. We're going to be doing three. Uh, the first one is going to be... Uh, Richard, the dad from Amazing What a Gumball. Now, Richard is like, of course, the goofiest character in the entire show. And I didn't know how to approach it because one thing I do when it comes to these character designs is try to incorporate the character's personality and how I envision them in my head. So I'm thought like, how can I make a goofy looking chubby father looking character? You know what I'm saying? Who's probably, you know, funny without even trying to be and uh but at the same time just just a, just just a whole goofball and i think the design i came up with was mostly accurate it was accurate enough in my opinion now um let me know because i actually want to draw richard again in another video but i want to do buff richard i think that'd be hilarious to do buff richard so if you guys want me to do buff richard uh comment that down below because i'll definitely do that in another video but default richard i thought yeah let's make him like a kind-hearted kind of chubby character uh, you know goofy looking uh, but at the same time you know he has a good heart I think besides Gumball and Doran who are the main characters I think Richard is like the third funniest character I actually think that Doran is the second it's no the first funniest character in the show I think Doran's more funny than Gumball I'm sorry it just, it's just the truth so in my head it goes Doran then Gumball and then Richard as the funniest characters and then we got like Nicole and Aiz and so forth Banana Joe you know, it just goes down into a list of who's the funniest character in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, Richard's definitely in the top three of the funniest, you feel me? Anyway, I didn't really do uh, too crazy. I gave him like some buff teeth because he's a rabbit, obviously, in his in his default form. And um, I think for what I had to work with, I portrayed Richard as accurately as possible. But like I said, I do want to draw him again, um, buff Richard this time. So if I should do that, like the video and... Um, Maybe I'll do that in the next one. But anyway, here's my version of Richard as a human. Next up, you guys asked for Tina, the T-Rex chick from uh, Gumball, who's literally just a dinosaur. Like that's literally the character design. It's just a dinosaur. I went for like this kind of a kind of a buff, jacked kind of bully character because I think Tina's a bully. I, like I said, I think Tina bullies. I mean, in that picture, she's really holding upside down. So I think she's a bully character. Um, so I said we should make her look like a tough punk chick, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's kind of what I was gonna go for with this design. I also think that Tina lives in a trash box. No, no, not a trash box, a, a junkyard. Yeah, I think she lives in a junkyard. I remember that one episode where they like tried to sneak into Tina's like junkyard house. And then because I think she stole Anais's rabbit bunny toy or whatever. I don't know, she stole Anais's toy and her brother's who were Gumball and Dorian tried to get it back from her and all hell raised pretty much. Yes! I got it! Great game! <laughs> it's always more difficult to transform characters into humans when all they are is just like a straight up like I guess animal I guess. Uh, like for the last video i did like the dragon from shrek and it's just a dragon you know what i'm saying and for this one it's the same kind of thing but it's a dinosaur uh so you know it, it does make it harder but it does make your brain work better it makes you like actually think more about the character and see what traits you want to go for i thought about adding like scales on the vests that was too tedious for me because i'm lazy so i didn't do all that but i think that would be a good little feature if I did like go in with scales and the vest you know make it like a skin jacket like a like a like right, like a lizard skin pattern jacket uh, but yeah other than that uh, I think that this iteration of Tina was probably um, one of my favorite ones you know I think this one came out uh, accurate gave her some gloves and stuff like that and uh, let me know what you guys think down below does this represent Tina the T-Rex uh, you know accurately would you picture her like this as a human you can be honest like i said these designs are just for fun and uh yeah here's my version of tina i like the jacket though the jacket's cool 
And last but not least, we have um, Masami's mom. I don't. Uh, what's her name again? Let me look it up real quick. Okay, according to Google, her name is Yuki, Yuki Yoshida, I think. Anyway, she's the mother of uh, Masami. I think that's her name, right? The, the little cloud chick. I think I did her as well um, in another video. If you guys want to check that out, I'll have a link to it at the end of the video. But yeah, she just looks like this uh, white haired lady with a uh, black vest jacket on or black suit jacket. I'm also pretty sure that her and Nicole Waterson are like rivals. I'm pretty sure they had a fight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would straight up watch an entire anime version of Gumball. Like, I, I know this sounds crazy, but like, I know there was this one episode that was kind of like a, uh, I guess like a little gag episode where they like transformed all the Gumball characters into like anime characters and they had like anime fight scenes and anime like power ups and all that stuff. <laughs> Impossible. And I think that if they did a whole like series of just that, that would literally be sick. In my opinion, though, I, in my opinion, I think that was one of my favorite episodes where they did that um, little anime homage kind of scene uh, with the gumball character. Anyway, she has a very simple design. I tried to make her hair like super flowy and with curls that kind of look like clouds have some strands like that. I wanted, I, I didn't want to go with like su super bushy. Um, but I did want to go with like a flowy, like, like a soft cloud, like a wispy soft cloud kind of thing. So that's why I kind of go with that hairstyle right now to adding the, the rendering and stuff like that. And, uh, so far I think that, uh, I mean, it's accurate. I mean, to be honest, it wasn't that hard. She already has a humanoid build. Like she's not like a dinosaur or anything like that. She actually has a humanoid build. So just using that for reference, it was, a. Uh, pretty pretty easy to get a more accurate version of the character um but yeah let me know what you guys think down below if you guys think it's good or not like i said i'm the kind of artist who doesn't get too butt hurt over opinions like i said this is a drawing if you get that upset about it that's on you i'm just having fun but here's my version of yiku yiku wasn't it i, I forgot her name already but yeah you guys know what i'm talking about what do you think down below Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave more characters down below uh, from any series, game, or whatnot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.